It is June 16, 1775, and on this night, America prepares for one of the opening battles in the War for Independence. On Breed's Hill and nearby Bunker Hill, across the bay from Boston, a force of 1,200 Americans build an earth and wood fort to defend the harbor. The leading of the Americans is General Artemis Ward and General Israel Putnam. On the following day, a British force commanded by Major General Howe crosses the bay and lands on the base of the hills. Grenadiers and regulars march up the hill straight to the fort, while light infantry, skirmishers, and green jackets move along the coast to engage and cut off any American stragglers. The Americans, being low on munitions, were ordered not to fire until they could see the whites of the British eyes. The British were repelled twice, but on the third charge broke through. In a last stand, General Ward dies along with any hope of American victory. The British had yet again taken the ground, but at a heavy cost. Over 700 British soldiers died and several hundred Americans. The British were beginning to see that the Americans could fight equally. Victory, it seemed, wouldn't be easy for the British.